For the mediocre reviews that it received, I was surprised to see that Aveline from Liberations was making a return on the good ship Assassin's Creed 4 as the game's 4pm on a Friday DLC attached to AC4 as an obligation to Sony to give them a PS3 exclusive DLC. These DLCs have usually been colossal wastes of time, such as the Copernicus Conspiracy and the Benedict Arnold DLC from the past. Maybe Aveline can manage to redeem this horror tradition of Sony exclusive rubbish. Like Freedom Cry, this DLC also gives us a different protagonist and a totally new setting to show off that at least Ubisoft was trying with Black Flag to put some quality add-on content with it. But with mission names like The Fort and The Tower, let's just see how far that care actually went. Aveline was directed to this British fort by our old friend Connor Davenport, who was looking to recruit a slave of note named Patience Gibbs, who has some skills to pique the interest of the American assassins. Aveline has been able to narrow down the search to this fort and its surrounding camps as the place they hauled off Patience into jail, so Aveline begins to go on your typical Assassin's Creed quest in a microcosm. She climbs into the nearby camp, kills her way through to the working slaves, and slowly figures out where they smuggle their prisoners to, and after some more digging and some more climbing, Aveline finds the prisoner tower and sneaks in to smash Patience's cage open. However, instead of a nice and easy thank you and bolting to the assassins, Patience is pretty adamant in her personal policy to not trust anybody and ends up being trapped in a combat zone with the British guards holding her until she unveils the secret of the artifact they stole from her. The artifact was pocketed by the fort's Templar leader, Dr. Judge, who I honestly feel the worst for in this cheap cash grab project because Judge is giving a performance too good for this three mission DLC. Patience gives. I warned my guards you'd have nine lives. I should have to strangle the last of them from you myself. You deceived me! All the while, Aveline's voice actor doesn't seem to give much of a crap. A friend sent me, Connor. He will offer you safety and training. Patience, on the other hand, is a pretty good character as well. Spirited, spunky, capable, and full of wisecracks after the pair decides to team up to find Patience's artifact at the top of the fort's tower. The tower mission is a series of good parkour challenges that, while being terribly programmed and is a desperate need of design cleanup, manages to be involving and actually fun to complete. I also got quite the laugh as I threw Aveline off of a jumping point and then the grab screwed up so she got the tumble to her death, all while her dialogue was saying that she was the greatest climber on the planet. You can make that jump? Watch. So, after all that got sorted out, Patience and Aveline reached Judge's inner sanctum and did some easy assassination work, leaving Judge grasping at a useless bauble with latent magical powers. According to Patience, it allows her to read minds for a few seconds at a time when she's using it. And that is basically it. A lot of sneaking around and murdering guards and a protracted parkour session marks the Aveline DLC. Personally, I came away from the pack itself actually quite satisfied with it. I thought it was a fun time, had some decent characters in it, a bit of involving challenge, and even though the DLC lasted a total of 40 minutes, for me at the end of the day, since you get the three missions and some multiplayer stuff alongside it, I would say that the $5 price point is close to fair for the entire bundle. The Aveline DLC isn't something that the average fan will die without playing, and if you could wait for it, I would sit on Black Flag until a Greatest Hits version came out with the DLC for free. Or you could just buy Aveline and Freedom Cry and at least feel like you got your money's worth out of playing the PS3 version. Which compared to games like Brotherhood and AC3, at least Black Flag didn't have as many crashes and hangups while playing such a massive sandbox. I do hope that whoever ended up playing Dr. Judge got some more mainstay characters in Creed's later games, because that guy is a talent that should not be forgotten as he helped to make this short DLC a better place to be, even if he showed up three times in those whole 40 minutes. Maybe we should show some gratitude to Sony for always being the guys paying up for these short exclusive DLCs. If Sony wouldn't have given Ubisoft $400,000 each time they made one of these, 
movies, then this guy would have never gotten the chance to perform. At least it's more than what we usually get with these types of things.